Hey there, and welcome back to this week's episode of Seahawks Central News. I'm Patrick Hogan. And I'm Sydney Bouchelle. Today we catch you up on the latest happenings around the globe during another segment of The Current Wave. Join our SEN reporter as she takes you through the flu season in North Carolina and updates us on the trial of Larry Nassar, the disgraced USA gymnastics doctor. And later, a new semester means a new production for UNCW's theater department. Listen in to our exclusive interview with the actress who plays Mephistopheles in the show. We have all of that and more, so sit down and stay tuned. Because Seahawks Central News starts right now. To start the broadcast, we wanted to keep you up to date on the latest happenings outside UNCW's campus. SEN reporter Mackenzie Rankin is in studio to help us do so in this week's segment of The Current Wave. The flu has come with a vengeance this year as 16 pediatric flu-related deaths were reported Friday, February 2nd, according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Laboratory reports show the season total of flu cases to be over 177,000. CDC Director Dr. Ann Shukat confirmed that the rate of hospitalization is the highest that it's been since 2010. And while the flu's reach spans worldwide, the Carolina coast is being hit with the illness at an alarming rate. As 10 out of 67 flu deaths were reported right here in New Hanover County out of North Carolina. The North Carolina Health Department of Health and Human Services specifically recommends staying home for at least 24 hours after being fever free if you are sick with the flu. USA gymnastic doctor and child molester Larry Nassar appeared in court on February 2nd when a father of three victims tried to tackle him. Many of you may remember a few months ago when it was revealed that USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nassar had been sexually assaulting female Olympians for years. Nassar has already been sentenced to 40 to 175 years in prison for his abuse, but on February 2nd, he appeared back in court for his third sentencing hearing where more than 65 accusers testified. This is when Randall Margraves attempted to lunge at Nassar, but was taken down by security. Take a look at the video. You know that I can't do that. That's not how our legal system After the situation had de-escalated, Margraves admitted to feeling embarrassed for his actions, but the internet rallied behind him, even creating a GoFundMe page that Margraves later asked to be taken down. And the judge released Margraves without a fine or punishment. That's it for this week's episode of The Current Wave. I'm your host, Mackenzie Rankin. Thanks, Mackenzie. From national news to campus news, the ground has officially been broken for the construction of Veterans Hall. Veterans Hall, also known as the Allied Health Building, is set to hold the College of Health and Human Services programs. The building is set to cost about $66 million, and the estimated completion time is 2020. It received the name Veterans Hall by the university to commemorate the rich history of veterans here at UNTW. Chancellor Sardarelli announced that this Veterans Hall project is just a part of the $125 million plan to renovate key buildings on campus within the next 10 years. Aside from establishing new classrooms and faculty space, Veterans Hall will hold a clinic for healthcare students to get more hands-on learning as well. The UNCW Theater Department returns with the first main stage play of the semester with Dr. Faustus, directed by Chris Marino. We talked with Sarah Kilgore to learn a little bit about the play. What do you stand to lose when you make a deal with the devil? Dr. Faustus, which is Tommy Goodwin, he basically gets bored of learning everything that he can learn, so he decides why not do black magic. Conjures up a devil, plays practical jokes on people, like conjures up stuff. I'm playing the part of Mephistopheles, which is the demon that Dr. Faustus conjures. This Elizabethan classic comes with a twist. It's, it's a classical play, which I think a lot of people will hear that and think like, oh, like Shakespeare is super boring. but. It's a big production, we're adding music to it, which is kind of unusual for a UNCW main stage show. Showtimes begin at 8 p.m. Thursday through Saturday with 2 p.m. matinees on Sundays from February 15th through the 18th and from the 22nd through the 25th. Opioid drug use is an ongoing problem that the New Hanover County area has been dealing with for quite some time. On Monday, four suspects were taken into custody for possession of several different narcotics. It was reported that they had enough fentanyl, a sedative that's used similarly to heroin, to kill everyone in New Hanover County two times over. The suspects were also caught with firearms, heroin, and marijuana, and other drug paraphernalia. Well, that's it for us. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to UNCW Teal TV for all you need to know campus news. For Seahawks Central News, I'm Sydney Bouchelle. And I'm Patrick Hogan. We'll see you next week.